With production starting in a year at the new Lundeen Mine in northern Marquette County, many Marquette residents are concerned about the increase in truck traffic throughout the city. Now, for Facebook Friday, we took a look at other UP cities and how they're managing their truck traffic. TV6's Dustin Bonk joins us now with more. Dustin? Steve, Escanaba is one city that has its truck traffic well under control. In 1999, they introduced truck routes. These semis can weigh up to 40 tons with a full trailer and logging trucks over 70 tons. Escanaba City Ordinance on Truck Traffic prohibits anything heavier than 13 tons from deviating from the truck routes, which are designed to accommodate heavier traffic. Roads pay the price when these large vehicles drive through. It will damage the roads. It's not as bad as people are making it out to be. If there are heavy areas, if there's a lot of truck traffic in that particular area, it can damage the roads, especially if making turns. Road maintenance is the main motivator for the city's truck routes, but not everyone is a fan. On Facebook, Perry says truck routes make life harder for most drivers and add miles, which means more fuel being used. Most of the time, truck routes are useless. But in Escanaba, officials say the truck routes are better for the city. We don't have any issues with the flow of heavy trucks, and trucks and trailers, tractor trailers, through the city of Escanaba. It's proven to be effective and it's not something I've uh, had to deal with, so it must be successful. Truck drivers say that Escanaba is easier to navigate than most other cities because of multiple lanes and flatter terrain, and that truck routes are universally beneficial. Anything they can do to make it easier to get the truck in and out of there, it makes everybody's life a lot better. Outside of road maintenance, many on Facebook also expressed concerns over the noise issues that come with truck traffic if the routes are near residential areas. Steve? Well, a subject that'll play out in Marquette for weeks and months to come, I'm oh, sure. Affecting a lot of people, for sure. That's for sure.